Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Doing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Right, right. We, we, this guy and I have just spent the whole day at this thing called Think Nation. And Think Nation, uh, what did you think of the day? It was very well put together. It was uh, very interesting and engaging. If you had to describe it to someone else who wasn't here, how would you describe this event? Uh, something to... Um almost uh, answer those big questions that you may have. Right, so the, uh, the format was roughly five big questions involving human life at the deepest level. Should we invest in technology to extend it? Should we invest in space flight? Um, um, questions about mortality, really kind of serious stuff. And it was put together so there were a series of expert speakers and artists and a poet and some dancers and everybody addressing these questions in different ways. I found it incredibly rich and, and it, it, I was pretty excited. And, and um, the plan is to have more of these. Would you come back? For sure. Right. Yeah. So please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Brandon Ralph. Um, I'm from uh, Bishop Bell School in Eastbourne. I did my work experience with the company Miggle, which helped design the website for this event. And that's our secret Drupal connection of the day. So what did you do on your work experience? Um, so I, I was the first person to uh, start the Think Nation site. Uh, Which is built in? Drupal 8. Oh, lovely. And this was back in uh, June time. So it was when before it had even been released. And uh, yeah, I, I built lots of the front end and I also uh, got to use with Drupal 8, which I'd never used before. Right, so what's your, what's your development IT web sort of background? Um, so in school I study computer science. Uh, outside the school I do lots of uh, computer related activities. I also own my own company, which uh, we do stuff on the computer and over the internet. Right, so you're an entrepreneur? Yeah, you could call me that. But in, in, in geek terms, uh, Alec Miles said, go make a Drupal 8 site. Mm -hmm. and, and just set you loose, right? How was it to open up Drupal for the first time? And um, it, was, it was a challenge. I have to say it was very easy to install that. And uh, when we were doing... Um, I, it, on the first day, I basically got told, oh, yeah, we, we use Drupal. Uh, I got talked through what it was. I, I got left a bit to uh, decide uh, and get to know it. And then they were like, oh, here's the site. We want you to start. So... I started, I think, pretty much in the first afternoon. And conceptually, was it an easy uh, uh, thing to get into, given your background? Uh, it, was, it was very different, because I'm used to coding raw PHP, and uh, it actually probably was a lot easier than what I do. So it, it, I suppose, in a way, I was doing lots of the front end to begin with, but uh, we explored the back end of Drupal afterwards, and uh, getting to know how it all worked was... It opened my eyes up to how uh, I kind of overcomplicate stuff. Wow, that's really interesting. So in Drupal, we talk a lot about how we empower people to use this very complex technology stack by making a great user interface and a great experience. Mm -hmm. Did it feel that way? Would, can you identify with that? Yeah, it, it, it felt like uh, the process was a lot quicker than uh, would have necessarily been if I would have had to hard code it. Now, most people that I interview, I'll ask them something like, what's your first Drupal memory? But your first Drupal memory is only June, and um, it sounds like it was entirely positive. Yeah. Is Drupal something that you're going to try out for your own project, get back to yeah. at some point? I, I probably will. It's a busy time at the moment with school and everything, and running your own company. Uh, but uh, it's definitely something that I want to look into in the future, as it seems like a really good alternative to hard coding stuff. So now... I'm just going to stand in front of you so that we can get the height comparison. How old are you? I'm 15. You're 15. Thank you very much. So entrepreneurialism is a, is a big theme at this event today. A guy called Ben Towers just had a bit of a speech. He's 17 and he's a serial entrepreneur as well and quite well known here in 
Britain is, do you think he's a sort of a role model? Yeah, I suppose he's one of those where uh, maybe I could be even, he could be my target for the next two years because as I progress and I move on, I'd hope that one day I will be standing up at events like this. And uh, I think around now is kind of the starting point of that with a, a television interview coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be taking it from there. So how did you discover programming was for you and how did you become an entrepreneur? Um, so I discovered programming was for me when, uh, we, when I sat down and I realized that I had a problem and that I needed to find a solution. So uh, and programming was uh, that type of thing. So. I learnt my first programming language when I was 12, or 11, 12, and um, that was pretty much basic HTML, CSS. And then uh, I got into more of the back end and uh, I did some Java and a bit of C. And um, I suppose I became an entrepreneur when I found something that I enjoyed. And uh, I have a friend of mine in Germany who is my uh, business partner, so to speak, and uh, we now over the past two years have kind of built up the company and we now have like there's 25 of us and we all live all around the world wow so getting into tech was a scratch your own itch story yeah it was you one had of those... a problem that you needed to solve and you went and figured it out yeah and then i noticed that other people also had problems so why can't i capitalize on that hey presto you had a business yep so what are the 25 of you doing now um, so uh, some of you may know the game Minecraft, if not you can Google it. Uh, we uh, use it as like an... For that one person who hasn't heard of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, um, we use it as like a, a tool, a marketing tool that companies and they employ us to make uh, software and also stuff in the actual game uh, in order to um, sell their product or sell their uh, movie or um, like that. We also use uh, Minecraft in education and we um, have recently uh, taken on like a chemistry project with the school where we uh, make Minecraft, uh, we make atoms in Minecraft and then we show children how they work and how they interact with each other. So I suppose it's kind of that that drives me forward with everything. Minecraft it, it, it seems to me to be uh, another sort of perfect system where they've made something so abstract and yet so easy to use that you can sort of turn it into anything. Yeah, it's one of those, like, people describe it as like Lego, and especially when you're building, it's almost like Lego but in a computer, so it's like Lego on steroids type thing, and uh, it can be used for pretty much anything, and the beauty of the game is once you play it, it's so simple to understand and it's engaged with so many children and not just children, but generations. And yeah, it's just great. You, yeah. you do have a passion for it. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be in business at this point either. No, and there's still a market for it. Even five years after its development, there's still a big market for it and it's still on the rise. Are you working on the next big idea? Oh, maybe. Oh, 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 KG, KG, very good. So, let's sum up. Think Nation, yes, no? Yes. You're going to be back? Definitely. You're going to submit a talk, maybe? Ooh, that might be something, maybe. Okay, all right. Drupal, yes, no? Yes, in the future. You're going to come back After to it? my studies, yeah. All right, cool. Anytime you want, you call any of us. There are, you know, several hundred thousand of us who can, who can help you out <laughs> with that. We'd love to start with Alec, and then, yeah. you know. So, awesome, and... Minecraft, yes or no? Yes, <laughs> but not forever. It's going to die one day, but right. for now, it's a great tool and I plan on using it for the future. Right. So, Brandon, give us your shameless pitch. So, if you're looking to further your brand, you can contact us. Uh, we're called Go Creative. We're an international company in uh, 20, of 25 of us in 13 different countries and seven different time zones. You can find us online at go-creative.co. And you can also find us on Twitter at Go Creative MC. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you thanks too. For, thanks, thanks for taking the time to thanks talk. Thanks for having me.